Hello, good morning. Buenos dias, not buenas noches, depending on where are you watching this video from. I am Mia. Thank you for tuning in to another tour video looking at different resorts and sharing some really good information for you guys. Welcome to the Rio, Panama, Playa Blanca. Okay, so I'm going to do a walkthrough tour as well as give my honest opinion on this resort and the amenities. So let's get started. So when we first got here, there was the buses there, the Sunwing, and there was like a lineup here, and they kind of make a makeshift desk right here, where you sign in, get your room number, get your um, wristband. Then if you want to like get any customer service, any questions, there's this permanent booth here for reception. So this is basically the main lobby. It's nothing, you know, nothing major. There's like a blue tint. Okay, so this is the lobby. Just want to show you here quickly. So by the way, it's March 2024 and the temperature is 32 degrees. It's pretty much been 30 degrees this entire week. So there's the resort. Our room is like here and they're basically the whole compound here and then there's four pools and then there's the beach. It's actually pretty small. I mean, we've been to the Rio in Punta Cana and that one was actually a lot bigger and to be honest, it's a lot nicer. As you turn right into the lobby, by the way, I will also tell you where the bathrooms are because there is not very many. There's two right off the bat right here. Okay, and here is the tiny, tiny souvenir shop. Honestly, it's kind of depressing in there. It's very small. It's kind of chintzy, but uh, that's the souvenir shop. I'm not even gonna go in. Okay, so here's the gym. I actually went to the gym a couple of times and just kind of walked on the treadmill just to kind of digest all the food that I was eating. I felt so bloated the first few days because I was just like engorging myself with all the foods. By the way, the Ryu here, very good food options. Not as good as Punta Cana, again, but all the same, very good food options. So right into the lobby at the other side towards the beach, you have the main bar. This is my favorite place in the afternoon to grab a cappuccino. They make very good cappuccinos. So you got like the, the rooms there, the rooms there. They're basically like identical on either side and each floor is basically the same, same layout. So first of all, you have the buffet over here on the ground level on the right side there. That's key because when we got here, we're like, where's the food? Like, where do we go? We're starving. Just got off the flight and we're hungry. So the buffet is right there. I will show you when we go down one level. So this is basically the lobby level. On the elevators, it'll be LB. There's the two, you know, Ryu sidewalk to the beach and there'll be the beach there. There'll be two pools here and two pools there. There's lots of walking, but the walking part is mostly to your room. It's not really a lot of walking in the resort. Oh, it's like a little uh, convenience store. I didn't even know the store was here. So anywho, that way is the left side of the residence suites. And we are on the right side. And here are the four elevators. Those are the four elevators in the entire, I'm gonna call it compound. I keep, I keep wanting to call it compound. I'm just gonna say it like it is. It's a compound. It doesn't feel like a resort. It feels like, it kind of feels like jail cells because like, it's like concrete walls. The lights at night are like office white. They're not like, it's not like a warm vibe. You can kind of see here there's a huge vacant lot land which i'll show you another clip and there's the gym that we were just in that's the gym and that's the gym fyi those treadmills there's like a lineup after i'm done i mean 
our daughter Zara, she wakes up at like 6, 6.30. So I'm, I usually went to the gym. I went twice, but I went to the gym at like 7, which there was like maybe like one or two other people there. But once it's like 8, 9 o'clock, oh my gosh. Like when I leave, there's like two people behind me trying to get on the treadmill. So if you need to go to the gym, go in very early. Oh, I just thought of something. We are on the second floor. See, you know what's confusing? This, the room numbers, start with a two. So you'd think that you're on the second level, but you're not. You are on the lobby level. You'll see my confusion when you see the elevator because it, it's, just, it's just confusing. Okay, so I'm going to cut to the part where I'm back in the lobby because this is the wrong floor. We are not on the second floor. And now I wait for an elevator. Oh, <laughs> sometimes it's confusing because I don't see the elevators. Like this one was open and because I saw this metal, I thought that was the door. But anyways, okay, so this is what I'm saying about confusion. This is the ground level where the beach is. These are residential. This is the lobby which we were just at. I don't even know where level two is. And then there is four, five, six. So we are on the fifth floor, which makes it a little bit simpler. If you're on the second floor, you would be like, where am I, where am I going? <laughs> like all those rooms that had a two in it, where are you supposed to go? Like level three, level one, like where is it? So it would be lobby level for number two. I guess that's why they have one, two, three. So lobby is supposed to be two. And PB is not peanut butter and jelly, it's basement. Anywho, so fifth floor, let's go. By the way, if you leave your food here, they don't take it. <laughs> this has been here for 12 hours. The service here is not very good. Okay, so on the fifth floor, you get a much better view of the surrounding resorts. This is the long ass boring hallway. There's always gotta be one in a resort. See, like the front entrance is very meh. Honestly, there's no, there's really no grand entrance. The long and boring road to the room. You know what though, I don't know if it's vacant because I swear, it's like, I keep joking to my husband, there's like an airplane crash right there and there's like survivors, like in that movie that we saw with the snow. Sometimes you can see like cows though, like I don't know if you can see right there. And then we have like an abandoned project right there. See, look, they don't take this, see? They just, it just stays there, it bothers me. So see, there's like an abandoned building. It's like as if they were gonna make a resort and then they decided once they put the concrete on that, uh, you know what, this is not gonna work out. And then they just left. It just kind of makes it look deserted. <laughs> By the way, that entire way from the elevators to the room that I'm just about to show you is the whole entire way that you have to walk just to get to your room. And there's no other elevators in the entire house of the compound. There's just those four elevators. All right, we are here in our room. So let's go inside. Hi. Oh my gosh, what a mess. And there's this little one. You know what? I think we gotta clean this up. That looks better. That looks better, baby. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, mama. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I get a nice hug. Thank you. Okay, so this is the room. We got a crib and the bathroom's over here. Obviously, the bedroom like this. And we got a fridge, fully stocked. Got a little coffee station going on. Got some luggage, drawers, drawers that don't work. It's like, like, and this one doesn't even open at all. This one has a tough time. And this is like the only good one. So yeah, and then this tiny little TV that doesn't really give great reception. We got the king bed instead of the two queens, but they gave us this like spare bed for some reason. Not sure why, but two chairs. And this is our view. There we go. Beautiful day. 
that's the room situation. Some of them have, you know, two queen beds. I wouldn't suggest going on the fifth floor because you have to walk up a lot of stairs. And then I'll show you the bathroom. There's a mirror here to see your outfit. And then you got like the safe and the shoe cubby, the closet, and then <laughs> this is the bathroom. There you go. And then the shower. So, um, do we, should I tell them what I found? So, I found a cockroach and Juid flipped out and he tried to kill it and it was very traumatic and the children didn't see anything but um, there was a uh, bloodshed going on and then the second day I saw another cockroach I think the cockroaches came from there because they were pretty big and I don't think like they definitely couldn't fit in like that hole cockroaches just full disclosure sorry for you but uh yeah anyways that is the room tour pretty good room um the only thing is that was really bad was the ac literally broke one day and it was like 7 8 p.m and we called in to ask them if they can come and fix it and it was like an hour later and we were like hello like we really want to go to bed and they're like oh yeah yeah two minutes no nobody came in two minutes no 15 minutes not ever so we're like hey just cancel it because we're just gonna go to sleep and then it just was working. It was just really weird. It's, it's kind of shoddy. Another big thing is that I'm actually hearing from other people, depending on where you are in the resort, you won't have any Wi-Fi in the room. Did you know that? Imagine going to bed and be like, ah, okay, long day at the beach, you know, swimming. I'm gonna watch some Netflix, uh-uh. I'm gonna check my email, uh-uh. I'm gonna check the Sunwing app for the flight status, uh-uh, because some rooms don't have internet. Our room, fifth floor, has full internet. So if you don't have internet, definitely ask them to switch your room because that ain't cool. That ain't fair. For a reel, I give this place a four, three out of 10. Three out of 10? Five. Oh my gosh. Three to five. Wow, why? Mm, nothing to do. There's no uh, excursions. That's true. Food's okay. The food's pretty good. It's too small. Yeah. Kind of gets boring after a while. You only have one pool for kids. The other one is taken over by adults. Yeah. There's not much to do, and the beach kind of sucks. And the beach sucks too, yeah. So, Can't go on the beach. are we never going back to Panama then? No. Also, another fun fact is there's no fan in the bathroom, and it's a long way for a window to clear out that air. <laughs> another thing is that you have the AC on, which hopefully you can hear right now, it will automatically shut off if you open the door. See? Turns off. Alright, so that was the room. You can either walk a million miles to the elevator or you can head towards the one staircase. There. See what I mean about like the white lights? It's like the office white, not like, it's not like warm light. Okay, this is actually a really good bird's eye view. So let me just tell you here, that is basically where we just were. Remember how I said I went for my cappuccino? And I was like standing, standing like right there. Basically walked from there, and then went to the fifth floor, and then all the way along. Now we're there. So the Ryu sidewalk, the connecting staircases, and the pools. So let me just give you a rundown of this because this is a great bird's eye view. This is the kiddie pool. Those slides are so much fun. Your kids are going to love it. There's lots of splashes and this, this thing dumps the water on the kids. It's a really fun area. Like Zara, our daughter, loves the slides. She's obsessed. Another tip is if you get a, a seat here along the bushes, there's lots of mosquitoes. So it's better to go in the middle. Anywho, that's that pool. This pool is kind of like the family pool 
where there's like kids, adults, mixed. And on the right side, you can't really see it from here, but when I go down there, I'll show you. There's like a shallow area where literally my one and a half year old can stand and walk around the pool, which is great. Now there's two other pools. This one is kind of like the seniors pool. I don't know how it got to that point, but that's what it is. There's lots of like seniors doing laps in that pool. And that pool is the party pool. They have like a DJ sometimes, like they have drinks in the pool. So that's like the party pool for like singles and party people. And it's kind of like separated from like the family section. And then you got the beach, which I will show you and I'll tell you my opinion of because I have an opinion of it. So without fertile ado, fertile ado, without fertile ado, let's go all the way down these steps. And maybe I can fast forward this because this is boring. So over there, we have the buffet, which I'll show you after this. And here we have the gardens. So we are actually right there. Every day they scrub these floors. I think they scrub them like at least two times a day. And they pick up like the banana leaves that fall. And we've seen them like cut the hedge here. There's lots of staff like gardening but there's not enough staff serving. <laughs> so this is the kiddie pool. By the way, this is a great spot if you want some really good shade. If you have like a baby, you can just like hide in there. It's like perfect. There's the slide. They don't even have the water on yet. It's so early. Here is where you get your towels. So you just give them your card, I think. Jewed does and uh, they give you however many towels that you need. Oh and by the way you couldn't see from way up there but this is the snack bar and it's also the steakhouse restaurant. By the way no reservations required for any of the restaurants. Any I mean like, there's only three restaurants but there's no reservation required. It's first come first serve and by the way they open at 6 30 and we tried to come here at like 7 30 and it was full. <laughs> and they're open till 9. So this is the snack bar. You can hang out there. By the way, secret tip, there's bathrooms right there. I will show you the snack bar. This is the, the seating area. This is where the, um, the steakhouse is. They just kind of like put a candle thing in the middle and call it a steakhouse. Can I go to one here? Yeah. By the way, it's not that, you know, this place is this deserted. It's just that I wanted to take a video very early in the morning. It's, it's 8 a.m. right now. Bright and early in the morning because as you can see, there's nobody around, so I don't have to worry about, you know, people yelling and singing and music. By the way, also, it's a Sunday morning, so Saturday night, people probably drank and had fun, and they're probably hungover now. And here's Leah doing a tour. These seats are really great for just chilling, lying down, hanging out. And as you can see, there's like a cliff here. This is like the shallow area. And then it goes into a little deeper, but as an adult, if you stand in this entire pool, you're standing above water. Like you're not gonna swim. You're not gonna like go down. Like if you do a handstand, your feet are gonna come up. One, two, three, go! So that's the pool. See how it's like infinity, which is pretty cool. And there's like beach volleyball, which they have during the day. And they have showers located. There's one here and there's one right there if you want to like wash your feet or just take all the chlorine out. Sun's starting to come out now, but um, just as an FYI, if you're a family, which most likely you are, because there's tons of families here, the best spots that we have found are this pool and these seats right here, along here because you get the best shade 
and you're right next to like the kitty section. So literally mommy can be sitting here, daddy can be here with the baby or vice versa, and it's like close to home. Here's a good spot too. You get a lot of sun, but you are close to the water, but you're getting a lot of sun. So it's better to go over there to that row, but then now you kind of have these people in front of you. So that's why I said this area is the best for seats. Second best would be these seats and the ones behind them. But again, you only get the umbrella here. The one behind it gets the, I guess you could call that kind of like a perugula. Oh, another thing is they have a ton of aerobics classes. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, cuatro, siete, ocho, tres. Literally throughout the day, all day, all I have in my head every single night is Reunion. It's so annoying. Like literally you're gonna go mental. And I think that's the one thing that I don't like about this resort is that they literally shove that song down your throat for hours. So if you are not good at tuning things out, don't hang out in this pool for very long because you're gonna go mental. All right, so carrying on. By the way, there's a privacy shower in there if you wish. These are also pretty good spots. There's usually shade, but again, you got people in front of you, so not as good. There's the beach, which we'll go in a second, but I just wanted to review the two other pools that are here. That's kind of the seniors pool, just like how I said before. And this is the party pool, which obviously no one's here because all the party people are hungover. We tried to sit over there and we basically got kicked out. It's like unofficially a dog only section because People were saying, you know, a lot goes on, people puking and people might smoke and trouble might brew. So it's probably not best to have kids there, which I agree. So we safely removed Zara from the situation. Oh, and at the party pool, they got a pretty good bar there. The thing that I don't like about this place is that if you're over in this pool over here, to get a drink, you have to come all the way over here. And there's only two bathrooms. There's a bathroom in the snack bar area, and then there's a bathroom right there. That's it. That's all the bathrooms there are. So you kind of have to go a little bit of a distance to go to the bathroom. Another thing that I don't like, sorry Ryu, is the entrance to the beach is a smoker section. So every time you go to the beach, you are like in a cloud of fumes with your babies and with your kids in tow. There's literally a smoking section. They have smoking butts here. You can't go to the beach another way. Like there's hedges everywhere. So this is the only entrance to the beach and you're in a plume of smoke. So great first impression of the beach, isn't it? No, no, no it's not. Another thing, actually, <laughs> I keep remembering things. I just wanna tell you guys everything because you're here for the right reasons. You wanna see if this place is good. You wanna see if this place is right for your family. And rightfully so, this is my opinion. Take it as you wish. Some of it is facts, like where the bathrooms are, but this is also my opinion, okay? So if you're like sitting anywhere, when I was at the Ryu Punta Cana, they would come over in like trays and just have like random drinks to be like, oh, do you want to try this? Who wants to try margarita? This and that. And they would pass them out. And they would also take orders like, oh, senor, do you want any drink? And then they would come with a big thing and they'd be like, senor, senorita, this, that. And they would hand out drinks, which was great, especially because the bar is so far. Here, they haven't done that once. They haven't done that once. How dare they? I know, I'm, I'm not saying it's a requirement. I'm just saying it'd be nice. You know, like you're on vacation, you wanna relax, you don't wanna stand up, you just wanna be lazy. <laughs> okay, so we're here at the beach. I'm just gonna leave my shoes here because they get very dirty. By the way, those are from Miniso, so cute. And here's the beach. 
got a shower there. As you can see, it's very rocky at the start, but it does get a little bit better. So there's seats here and they have like souvenir shops there and then the horse is there, which I'll tell you in about a second. And then you got all here. Now, what I like about this resort is that they have two chairs to a palm tree. Instead of just like row and row of all the chairs, they just have two to a palm tree. So it looks more spread out, it looks more natural. Okay, so this flag here marks the point where I guess like the horses and the souvenir shop can be. They can't go closer to this spot. So one thing that I want to say about this beach is that it's very dark. Like that's not seaweed. It's like literally like magnetic. This is what it looks like. Okay, so fun story time. I was sitting here the other day, just minding my own business, just relaxing, reading the Elon Musk book that I am enjoying, like a nerd. And along comes a horse, okay, with a person that's trying to get rides with the horse. They literally poop right in front of me. They're not even shame, like there's no shame. He literally digs a hole. He puts the manure in the hole, which is by the way, maybe a couple inches below the beach level. And he puts the poop and he covers it up. Now I wanna say this is the biggest thing that I don't like about this resort is that the beach smells like shit. And even when you're in, in the pool, you get a whiff of like sewage and that's what it's from. It's from all the horse poop. That's, it's just so gross. Like how could they, how could they do that? How do they think it's fine? And then when you're walking in the sand, sometimes you step in shit. Anyways, I'm getting hot. The sun is coming up and let's get this. See, I mean, look, look, see, there's poop. There's literally poop on the beach. I'm just, ugh. You have to like dodge it. So here's where it's like really dark. But it's kind of like nice, like it's powdery. By the way, that's like the stretch right here. That's where there's poop. Beyond that, there's not really much poop. So now my feet can be happy and just be in the sand. And this one is like, it's like powder. It's so nice. And it's almost like, it's almost like volcanic. Anyways, it makes for a really cool beach, but swimming in it, <laughs> not so much. I mean, look, there's nobody here. And during the day, there's nobody swimming in this beach. Like usually when you go on vacation, people go for the beach, right? This beach is deserted. There's literally there's nobody here. It's just kind of like mucky. It's not, you know, your crystal blue. It's not your crystal blue water. Let's just say that. By the way, the airport is on that side. And sometimes you can see the planes lifting off. And you can find some seashells too. So if you have kids, you can make it a fun activity to find some cool seashells. That's dog shit. There's actually a lot of wild dogs in this place. They just kind of run around the resort and just be free and just eat the food and grab things. But they say to be careful, don't feed the dogs because they can be aggressive. I mean, they are wild dogs, so.
guys, my beautifuls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here you are at the ground level and the elevator, it's PB. And you got the live the entertainment here, which to be honest, was probably one of the worst that I've seen, but we didn't go to a lot of them because Zara goes to bed pretty early. And the show starts at nine for kids and then 10 for adults. really good sports bar here it's a great place to just grab a drink and get some AC and there's some pool tables which is great and there's even some snacks over there but it kind of just looks old so I wouldn't recommend it but you can grab a drink right there there's also another bar right there that they open for when there's entertainment. I'll just show you the stage. That's the stage. And secret bathroom is right beside the sports bar. There's two bathrooms right here. All right, we are back at the elevators. Also, we did the photo option. So this is the photo deck where they edit the pictures that they take. And it was actually a very fun session. I'll show some of our pictures here so that you can kind of get a feeling for the style. And here is the package. So if you want one photo, it's 10 USD and four photos is 25 digital. Okay, I will show you from the elevator now. Sports bar here, beaches down that way. See, it's starting to pick up now, it's getting later. So this is the Italian restaurant. Don't get the chicken, it was way overcooked and very fried, not very tasty at all. But get the beef, that one was actually pretty good. So I'll just show you briefly how it looks. That's how it looks, very slow service, very long lineups. See, it's only open from 6.30 to 9. So you get this starter main course so we got these two this one was very good i would recommend it and we got the tiramisu which was nothing special this one is the asian cuisine this one is pretty good they had um, sushi selection right when you get there of course i got the noodle soup which was pretty good lots of veggies and I don't think we just skipped out on dessert. So I would advise if it opens at 6.30, be here like no later, no later than 7.30 for sure, if you want a spot. All right, so here we have the buffet. So you can either sit outside, so it goes here and then it goes along, or you can go inside. And every day they kind of have like a new feature. Okay, so right when you walk in, there's usually the fruit counter here. There's the cereal counter here. There's the bread counter over here. Okay, and then you got like the juices and the salads. So really the food section is these two. So you go and this is breakfast. So you grab your eggs, potatoes, Veggies, rice, beans, right? Here you got your poached eggs. And then over here you got donuts. And you got pancakes. Actually, their pancakes are really good. I would highly suggest having some pancakes. They are some of the best pancakes I've ever had. And you got like your syrup and your maple syrup. And then you have the juice bar. So you got pineapple, papaya, green juice, watermelon juice. Zara really likes the banana smoothie. Here's the salad bar. There's yogurt, granola, fruits. Oh, and over there at lunchtime, they've got like 
burgers, pizza, and then you got like your drinks bar in the middle. So you got juice, fruit punch, water, Coke, soda, beer, and that's basically it. So also another thing is the Wi-Fi can be very spotty. So if you're like on a WhatsApp call or a FaceTime call, whatnot, it will literally drop off every other like minute, especially if you're walking. If you're standing, obviously like it's probably a secure spot, but if you're walking around, it will be a drop call. So if you're gonna make a call, don't walk around. Oh, another question that I get asked from other mothers is, is strollers allowed? Strollers is allowed anywhere. You can have, you know, a double-decker, a single, a sun stroller. They're all a-okay, so you can bring those. All right, people are looking at me strange now. It's 9 a.m. and it's starting to get busy and I'm sweating. It's really hot out today. So that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found value. If you have any questions about the resort, don't hesitate to ask me below. I will get back to you. Make sure to check out my other travel videos. I also went to the Punta Cana Rio. We went to Cancun, Mexico just in November. So if you want to see other resorts, just check out my other videos. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. Buenos dias, buenas noches, wherever you're watching from. And in English, take care. Bye.